Hey yo fellow Ligonians, fellow Brick fans, this is Dave Frost reporting in once again with another Lego haul from Toys R Us once again. And uh, this time I got four different sets. As you can tell by the music in the background, the first one is from Marvel. And that set is the Brickhead's Captain America. It looks pretty legit. The ear... I can understand the bricks going outwards on the sides of the head. Uh, being the ears. So, that's somewhat a little bit weird, but I'm okay with that. So, put that off to the side. And the other stuff is Star Wars related. So, what those three sets are. The First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack. From Episode 7. The Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack. From... 4, 5, and 6. You know, just from the Star Wars universe and Star Wars universe in general. And last but not least, the Republic Fighter Tank. Now... As I lower the camera. Now this is something that is interesting about the two battle packs of the Summer Wave. Is that they are bad guys. Well, the Bounty Hunters, they are, you know, for hire, and somewhat bad guys, somewhat good guys, because you hire them to do some bad stuff for you, uh, depending on whether... You want them to hunt down and spy and do other bad stuff to the bad guys or the good guys. So it kind of depends who's hiring them. Like Jabba the Hutt could be hiring these bounty hunters to hunt down the Empire for some reason. Um... Obviously, so far, we have not specifically seen any bounty hunters in episode 7. And, uh, we may have in, in the Maz, Maz's Cantina, um, in episode 7, but we didn't specifically talk or interact or do anything with any specific uh, shine the light on any type of bounty hunter outside of what we saw in Maz's cantina. Like what I'm saying is, is that sure, we may have seen some bounty hunters, but we didn't specifically do anything with any certain or specific uh, bounty hunters in general. Like, we didn't take them out of the crowd and interact with them. So, we'll have to see what comes of Episode 8 and 9. And possibly 10 or so uh, future Star Wars movies, if that even happens. Um... So, it's really cool to get a flame trooper with a smaller flame piece. 
if if you've seen my first order transporter and some blink brickling calls from the past uh, you would recognize that I got bigger flame pieces for the flame troopers and then what's also cool is that we get the traitor type of first order stormtrooper where he has a shield and this spinning phaser or taser or electro staff whatever type of weapon that is um so yeah like I was saying it's interesting that we don't get any good guys this time usually that's what the battle packs are based off of our one battle pack being good guys and the other battle pack being bad guys but this time we just get bad guys all around um, so that will just about do it. I thank you all so very much for watching. Please stick around for more great LEGO Transformer and movie trailer related content coming to the future of this channel. And I shall see you next time in the future. Uh, maybe, maybe not tomorrow with a movie trailer Monday episode. Uh, because I have... Because recently I've hey guys, gotten two I just jobs and they're taking up a lot of my time. And I have barely any time in between two, the two jobs to do anything at home. So if there be an episode coming, a movie trailer Monday episode coming at all out of tomorrow, it would have to be at night. So bear with me as I do my best to see if I can get any episode created. Um, and if you notice, my outros are starting to feature my Insta Instagram account. Which I may switch it up between that and Twitch every now and then. Or something different, I don't know. We'll have to see what becomes of that. But anyways... Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my future videos coming to the future of this channel. So long.